Hello everyone, Silvermoon here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we found one small key, unlocked a door. Follow the path to another small key, unlock that door. Batman being big, in the lake bed temple there, that's more specific. In this episode, we are going to be unlocking this door and heading inside. No door transition. Um... Doesn't look like we can really get to that lever, can we? Won't hurt to try. Blue rupee! This are two blue rupees, jeez. We're rolling in it. No, now we're rolling with our money in my, our pocket. Uh, yeah, um. Let's try and find a way to get to that switch because I'm guessing we're gonna want to get to it. We can't get to it. I wonder. Blue, ru hey, two blue, listen. more blue rupees, are, hey, and listen. a yellow rupee, which are going to stop and marvel at. So maybe we need to just forego the fact that we have. <laughs> That we have a switch and just try climbing up these vines. And the birds! Why are you squeaking? We can climb over this wall. That's something. And again, more of these sorts of targets. Tack time! And I don't have my sword out! Because I'm an idiot! And one other tech tight. No heart. Ah, oh, well. So. Is this. Oh, this is a spiral. Okay, I was beginning to look at the map and see. Is this a loop? Ah, hey, you dodged my jump attack. That does not hurt. What happened, sir? So. Oh, there's a, nothing but a treasure chest at the top. War bombs. All right, some more water bombs. Now we're at to our max of 15 for our water bombs. Oh, a ladder. And switch. I suppose I have to grab it. Oh, it opens up a water gate. But what is that going to do for us? Oh, it causes us to slide down. That's what it causes. But for what purpose? I know, War Slides are never a good sign in the original Sonic with the Labyrinth Zone. Maybe the change in water level makes certain things easier. For instance, we can now swim over to here. If there's a very area we can... Yeah, there is. There totally is. Maybe we can... And... Does this drain out the water? Doesn't look like it. Oh, but we don't need to go up. So let's swim back up to the surface. Where we need to go back through the door we just came in. So let's follow this water then, I guess, is the point that the game is trying to make for us. Oh! It starts the war wheels turning. Yeah! Bye, Keys! Yeah, okay, so this makes things quite a bit. Chew jellies! Homing attack! <laughs> Homing jump <come> attack! <laughs> oh, fairy! Blue Rupee! Um. Oh, 
Oh, that's be it's because there's a tech tie on the other side of this door. But we can't go through there. Blue rub Maybe these bloody blue rubies are predetermined in the thing, but I have no way of knowing unless I play the game. Now this thing is turning. So that's kind of neat. So should we go there? Probably should. Because the water is running. Oh, this is where that boulder was. Okay. So, because we can't... We got that fairy in that dead end room. I say we maybe climb over... Then again... Maybe I need to actually go onto here and try and get the switch. In order to... Open up the... Yeah! That opens up the door! Okay, so I totally can grab it! Oh, I see tech tights. And here we are on the other If I killed it, it took damage at the exact same time! <laughs> wow! And Helmosaur in the water. Oh, I jump attacked its butt. <laughs> now let's see how this room looks now that there's water in it. Oh, the water's filling up. All right, so... All right, so what's this way now? So maybe we need to get more to make sure there's more water flowing into here. So this room looks pretty dry. But it's blocked by a water wheel. Which we can't go through because the water wheel is not turning. So maybe we need to do something else? Sure looks that way. Oh, but this is... So where haven't we been? We haven't been in here. Let's go past this enemy. Just right past him. Wait, this is a dungeon's entrance. Oh wait, no, this is that room with that we can do more with now that the platforms are spit are moving. We can jump onto here. Scary to jump off onto this. Platform with the door on it, and miss! Doe, I missed. Yeah, let's climb up, Link, up! It's only been nine minutes? Wow. I've gotten so much more done in nine minutes than I have. Oh, wait. I went the wrong way. I can't. Oh, and I'm surrounded by tech types. What I need to do is go toward the entrance of the room, and that's not it. I wonder if from that center area I can jump to the platforms. No, it doesn't look like I can, though. I mean, I have to go all backtracking. Gotta love it.
All right, so up, up, up the vine. Up, Link. Thank you. Not to the left, up. All right, so now I have to wait for another one of those and one just passed me by. All right, patience is a virtue, as I always say. And jump. There we go. So what's in here? Ooh, this looks like a... Oh, oh. Choose! Not Pikachu. Just choose. Even though they're not mice. And rupees. No, a small key. Okay. I'll take it. But what's in here? Oh, fading to black. Mini boss, I'm guessing. Well, it door didn't lock behind us. Blue rupee. Blue rupee. <laughs> Man, this this one dungeon is going to jack up the blue rupee counter so freaking high. And nothing. Huh? Hey, listen. Another one of those targets. And green water on the other side. Is this target I can hit with a bow? Wouldn't surprise me. No, it doesn't look like it responds to bow. But the fact that it took the time to load that room. Something very important must be in that room. Yeah, it took the time to fade to black and load the room. So we have must need to somehow, some way, some place, get down to the bottom level of the room. Well, there's a higher level of the room. I wonder if we just need to ride the platforms for a bit longer because, yeah, there's an other side of that room. There's another side of this, that one long room. Right there. So let's go into this entrance once it gets close enough. There! Oh! And we need to go on the other side anyway because this is a small key. We need it for this to use for this door. Ooh, water. Oh, barrier jellyfish. So we need to, oh, currents, currents. Looks like we need to use our iron boots. This looks like a job for the iron boots. Red Rupee! Okay. So I guess it, well, it's not an entirely bad thing, but now we're only three rupees away from our maximum. Looks like we need to surface here? No, I want to surface. I want to surface. Oh wait, maybe I need to use my handy dandy. Not notebook. Water bombs. Because. Oh. Yeah, I did. Okay. Let's go through here. Clam! Oh, 
All right, and we get heart. Oh, fade to black. We must be entering the boss room from underwater. Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, and it closes off. Oh, gee. Where are these? Are these temples in the boss? No, I would guess not. I'm just kidding. Couldn't resist Chugga Conroy reference. Are you serious? Kaiju Gary! Oh crap. Oh, I just attack its tongue? I wonder if the Gale Boomerang has any effect. Oh. I mean, I should have... Yeah, too late for that. I didn't give you. So it flies up. off the tongue with the ending blow. Yeah, now the strongest muscle in your body's gone. He spat out his tongue. Oh, he spat out a treasure chest. Okay. What's inside? The claw shot! It's a long chain with a claw. All right, let's try it. Said to be and try it right now. All right, so anywhere we can grapple to? Oh. Awesome. So that's how you open up those areas. All right, and more blue rupees. I swear. I think those ones are predetermined. So now it takes a moment to load the rest of the temple. So now we've got the dungeon item. There's no telling what we can do here. Not so tough without your armor now, are ya? Now we're at 600, our full wallet. <laughs> uh, 
I thought I remembered there being like a target there. We, we were not far enough, close enough to it to grapple to it? I don't think that'd be the case. Or maybe we just can't grapple to those torches. No, we can't. Ah, well, just using this thing is so fun. Ah, uh, yeah, there's only so much we can grapple to. Um, defeat you. <laughs> All right, so now we can hook shot stuff or claw shot, I should say, because there is a difference. One's a claw, the other's a hook. The claw. Actually, maybe we should go back into here because, as you see from here, it's possible to make water flow into this room. Or maybe we need to... They can still bowl us over though. They don't do nearly as much damage. And we get a heart. All right. All right. So I'm guessing now that we have the claw shot, we can do quite a bit of things with this room. But I think I will want to save them for next episode. So thank you very much for watching all the way to the end, and have a very nice rest of your day.